Hey everybody, and welcome to my guide on how to maximize your experience chinning. Uh, this is a pretty useful guide in my opinion, because when I first started chinning, I was only getting about 250k experience an hour, and now I'm getting about 350k experience an hour, just for ranged. So, it's a really big step up, and it saves a lot of money, and it's not just because my range levels went up, it's because of the method that I started using. And I'm going to show you guys the method here in just a moment. And I'm sure that if you guys are having trouble uh, maximizing experience rates, that this is going to lift you up, help you out a lot. So, first of all, the requirements. Uh, most of you already know you have to have at least started Monkey Madness and gotten to the part where uh, Darrow takes you to this little hangar right here. And you solve that little puzzle, and then Wadar takes you off to Crash Island or whatever. So as long as you've gotten that far, and gotten Lumbo to take you to Apatol, you can go and start chinning. If you're one defense pure, such as myself, you are going to want to not complete Monkey Madness. Do not get to the point where you can use a Dragon Scimitar, or you cannot chin. Uh, everybody else, doesn't matter what you do, I don't care. Uh, and as far as gear goes, this is just what I use. I prefer to have the higher ranged attack bonus just to help me maximize my damage. Uh, but I mean, if you can't afford this stuff or you just don't want to have it at Apatol with you, then my suggestion would be to replace it with the best prayer bonus gear that you can use. Uh... Yeah, that's that's pretty much the only suggestion I got on that. And then as far as my inventory goes, obviously com pretty much completely prayer potions with some ranging potions to just kind of help out. Uh, and then, you know, an anti-poison. And I cannot stress the importance of a stamina potion enough. It is so useful to have one of those. Okay, so as we're getting here, I just wanted to point out that a lot of the guides that I've seen, first of all, they don't cover how to lure the monkeys into the proper spots. And second of all, they all try to get you to go to the far back monkey spot. I don't like to go to the far back monkey spot. I like to go to the first monkey spot because, well, it's closer and saves me like a drink of prayer potion. Not even, but anyways, uh, so when I get there, this is where I stand, okay? The, this is the first spot to stand anyways. Let's go ahead and dose myself, get it going here. All right, so this is the spot that you want to start off in. Um, and obviously, when you're first starting off, you're not going to be getting very good experience rates. Now this, this is spot one. Okay, there's two spots you want to be standing in. This is spot one right here. And then over here is spot two. Your goal, actually is to get bone spawns right where these two bones are and then two more bone spawns right where these two monkeys are right now that are closest to me. Uh, that's how you're going to maximize your experience and you're going to be wanting to attack the one that I'm currently attacking, this guy right here. Uh, always want to attack the middle one. Uh, once more monkeys start spawning, uh, you're going to be getting like a whole box of monkeys that are like two monkeys uh, in each spot. So uh, that's the, that way you're going to be able to maximize your experience. The best thing to see is when you're throwing your chins and one of the monkeys or multiple monkeys aren't even getting z zeros hit on them. That is when you know that you're hitting as many monkeys as possible. And that's how you know you're doing a good job. Uh, so once these other monkeys, see, here we go. Monkeys start spawning. Once these other monkeys start spawning, your whole goal is to create as many bone piles as possible. Because the way it works is, yeah, we come here to Chin because they spawn out of their bones, right? But if you have a pile of 15 bones, only one monkey is going to spawn from that pile of bones. So you're, you're running back and forth between these two spots to create a box of monkeys and essentially get as many bone, different separate bone piles as possible. Uh, the spot that the bones are right now and 
the spot that the bones are going to be in a moment are the two spots that you want to have bones before you move over. So basically get bones. See now there's a bone in that spot and a bone in that spot. So it's time for me to go over here and make a bone in the other two adjacent spots to myself. And see obviously the, you know the bones they spawned more monkeys. I'm already getting really good experience drops. You can see that here 420 smoke. Uh and then yeah, like like I said once these two spots have bones in them, you run back over here and you just keep on repeating this over and over you're going to be maximizing your experience ridiculously like right now it only says on my OS buddy experience tracker that I'm only getting about 200k experience an hour right now but that's because I just started and by the end of the hour I will have gotten about 350k ranged experience and about 100 and you know 10k uh, hit points experience so I'll leave you guys to it. I hope this helped you out. If it did, you know, the old cliche saying for YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm begging for attention and all that shit. All right. Have a good day, guys. And get that 99, noob. Peace.